morning YouTube it's me again another update on my printers this is the uh, Ender 2 Pro I am going to be uh, installing this buck converter so I can provide a USB 5 volt power um, to the Raspberry Pi uh, which this unit here and uh, hopefully now that will fix the issue of having to unplug it and plug it in to power it on and off and uh, give it a more stable power connector. So I'm going to be uh, pausing the video and skipping through because I can't hold the, the camera and, uh, and and do the stuff at the same time. So I'm going to take the bottom panel off and then we're going to take a look at the things inside and see uh, how I'm wiring this up. Uh, hopefully there, there should be... It's a very small power supply in this particular unit so I'm hoping well, one, I hope that it's accessible because it's in a, the power supply is on that. Uh, or maybe it's just the plug that's on that side, probably. I think that's what it is because it looks like the grommets go under here. So power supply should be in on this side somewhere, probably under under here somewhere. And it's probably very tiny. So, uh, I don't know. We're going to see. I'll uh, take the bottom panel off and see what I can see. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, so as I suspected, the power supply is in this other compartment. So I'm going to have to take a look at what's needed to get this panel off on this side. I think that maybe there are two screws. Um, I don't see any screws on that side. Uh, I do see a screw here and a screw there. Uh, and maybe the panel will flip down, but I'm definitely going to have to snip all the zip ties off the cables here to get a better look. And I'm going to have to look on the other side here. It's possible the mount... Uh, actually, no, that mounts in further down here. So, um, let me see here. I don't feel any screws on this side, so I'm going to pop these off first maybe it's just kind of hinged I can't see anything in specifics let me take a look up top here I don't see any screws up top so it's possible it's just these two and maybe under the feet like they did this end I'll take another look and maybe it's just kind of Maybe it's got like a little clip or something that's going into. I've never taken this off before. So we will, uh, I will dig into that and we'll go from there. Either way, I gotta be in both compartments cause I gotta run the power cable out this side. So it's gonna have to run. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully that's not the only grommet. If it, if it is, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Because uh, the USB power cord has got to be run through here somehow. And it's got to probably be through that channel. So I may actually have to remove that grommet to give room for this cable to fit through along with the power. Alright, well, let me dig in more and we'll go from there. Okay, so I uh, was able to get a peek in there through the back side. And uh, that is not a traditional power supply. It's essentially an open mains set up in here with just these leads are directly soldered to the uh, primary PCB so I won't be able to go off of those unless I wanted to um, piggyback on those leads so I am going to do that on this side. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to... First of all, where does that go? Uh, that looks like it goes into, yeah, actually I'm not sure where this goes, I don't even know what it is. There's ground and power there, and I think that must go into a converter, that blue cable, I don't... oh no it's a ground, yeah that's an extra ground. So, um, must be, it's grounding to the board. So I'm going to piggyback off of the two existing connectors here. 
and uh, that should be that should be fine. I don't think that's going to be enough draw. Um, I don't know how many amps this power supply was, but I think the one in the Ender 3S1 was um, I want to say it was like either 15 or 17 amps. I don't know. I'll have to go back and take a look at it, but uh, I think I might be able to piggyback off of those with the leads for the uh, converter, so I'm going uh, to give that a shot and see what happens. Uh, I don't think that it's going to be enough of a draw on this board. Uh, also, since we're offloading some of the workload on it, it might be running a little less power anyways, um, since it's being controlled by the Pi. All right, I'm gonna go through it, see what happens, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm wired in. Um, got them down pretty good. You wanna wire it into the primary mains coming from the power supply. Um, here because you don't there are other power supply inlets on the board that go out to all the other devices like the the heat bed and all that stuff coming off the board but that's all regulated so you don't want to come in off of any of those powers you probably probably could and probably be enough but i want to get it from the mains prior hopefully i won't get any low voltage issues with uh some of the other devices the main thing now is going to be where do i put everything uh, because this is a fairly good sized cable. I think I got room right in here to tuck away uh, the converter itself. So I'll probably, I probably won't even bother double side taping that. I'll probably just put that in there and I'll coil up this wire because I also have the primary lead that comes out of this that I'm going to have to wire up as well. So, and that's going to have to be coiled up and tucked in there. So. I gotta make sure I got enough room and I also gotta make sure that it doesn't block any of the standoffs for the screws and stuff. So, all right, I'll wire this back up and I'll uh, see if I can get this button back up and go from there. All right, I'm back up and running, taking her back to the office. Let's see what we got going on here. It's kind of a nice thing about it being so tiny. It's one thing about portability that people yeah, there's my cat. People seem to disregard sometimes some of the nicer features of having something that's more portable. Um, so here's what we basically got. Uh, I have it piggybacked into the mains. I've got the little, all the cable tied up in there uh, and out of the way of all the other stuff. Just got a single USB type C power. And provided that I don't pull too much juice, from the power supply, I think we should be good. Everything is fused anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about popping a fuse on it. Uh, oh yeah, computer. Would be nice. Let's go ahead and put it back on. I'm not where you're out there. Small cord, the way I like it, clean. Uh, this part is not so clean, but I will deal with this later. Maybe I'll probably, probably should zip tie it up into a smaller, neater wire and until the one I ordered comes in. There we go. Let's see here. I really wish that plug was more on the side instead of on the front. Would have been a little more, I think, appropriate, I think. All right, let's see what it is. Crossing fingers, nothing blows up. Got fan spin, I got power on the pie, it seems. I got everything pretty well tied up in there too, so it's, uh, it's all pretty tucked away. I uh, added extra zip ties to the powers coming off the mains. Nice. 
So far so good. I'll have to run a print, test print, make sure I don't run into any low voltage issues, but I think it'll be pretty obvious. There we go. Up and running. Machine number two. So now they're both receiving power from their mains by USB, which is nice. A um, little more work, oddly enough, on the on the Ender 2 Pro than the than the Ender uh, 3S1. Uh, this one has a more traditional power supply with extra extra uh, power connections. So now let's see, make sure everything shuts off the way I want it to. And it's unfortunate that the shutdown doesn't uh, doesn't uh, work with the mains power, but I'm sure there's a way to figure a relay or something for that. I usually give her a good healthy five seconds. I added a, a little tiny strip of electrical tape to cover that one edge that sticks out because these things aren't measured. You know, they measure three and three and a half diagonal, but you know, there's more material on left and right because you've got the, the touch level too. So it should shut And we're off, nice. That's what I wanted. Very clean. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments or critiques, leave them in the, uh, in the comments below and I'll uh, try to answer what I can. All right, take care guys.